In a city inspired by artists, one Austin legend has left his mark on both the art and music scenes, Daniel Johnston. We see Daniel's murals on some of our city's most sacred walls, spreading messages of love, mental health, and the importance of checking in on one another. His music, covered by artists worldwide, has made its way onto one of Austin's biggest stages. This is the story of how one of his most iconic songs, True Love Will Find You in the End, became the closing song for Austin's Major League Soccer team and their adoring, passionate fans. Within soccer culture across the world, there's often like these moments where you, maybe it's a certain minute mark in the game or a certain pre-game tradition or a certain post-game tradition. There was just kind of the expectation that we would have some kind of song at the end of the game that would unify everybody. A lot of people really bought into the idea of doing True Love Will Find You in the End as that closing song. I almost match it to like the end of a, the last final prayer of church. It's that, it's that final like, don't worry because Next week, we're all gonna be wearing our verde, we're all gonna be cheering on our team, so it's okay. Growing up in the area, you know who Daniel Johnston is. Like, you know. You know about the murals, you know about the songs, you know about the art. It's Daniel Johnston and the Hi How Are You mural are just iconic. I think it's real important for a sports team to have things that inspire them, that make, that continue like a tradition. Win or lose, we're, this is us and we're part of something that we're proud of. There was always this groundswell that we could make this kind of cult thing or this kind of alt Austin thing, something that um, everyone in the stadium would be invited to participate in. Whenever we pick up a song, we can adjust the rhythm and keep the melody the same, and that usually works. There's also a question of the lyrics. The lyrics in, in True Love could be interpreted in so many ways. You can interpret um, a, a line like, don't feel sad, I know you will, at an, at an end of a game where you fought till the end and maybe you didn't get the result you wanted, but um, we're still there chanting with you. When you're wearing that verde and that black, you're one of us and we're going to take care of you. I wanted a community that I was welcome, authentically me. The song, was both about romantic love and group love, not about an individual, it's not about a person. And when you share with, as a group in that experience, you always walk away whole. In Las Buenas y Las Malas, like in the good times and the bad times, we're here supporting the team, and that this team's about something bigger than a win or a loss. And it is about love of the sport, love of community, love of each other. And if we're not living it that way, in you know, loving and getting love in it, we're doing it wrong where they're no matter what, and that there's true love for these colors in our city and for our players to, to know that. And so it became something that kind of started small, even like a cult thing within, I think, the fan base. And so it's taken time for it to grow and gain traction, but I think that actually helps this in the long run become a sustainable, genuine tradition. He would have been honored. He would have said, I'm famous, I'm famous. <laughs> For us, football y comunidad, it's important, and that's part of being open to our mental health and saying, I need help. I, I need somebody to talk to. A lot of us queer kids that weren't accepted at home, we look for found family our entire life. And that is one of those moments that you see like, yes, this is my found family. This, these are the people I am choosing because they've chosen me. Having that vulnerability and being able to channel those emotions for our team I think having this song is so important to what we're building here in Austin. You can feel love, you can feel emotions when you come to a game, like that's the point. And we support our own, we take care of our own, and so having a song that is so tied to Austin roots be the serenade just made sense. And I think anything else wouldn't have worked and it wouldn't have stuck. This experience of talking about a soccer team using the song in this way um, makes me wonder how many more ways Dan will touch people's lives. There's something so magical and pure about the way he views the world. And 
that song is an example of it. True love will find you in the end. You'll find out just who was your friend. Don't be sad, I know you will But don't give up until True love will find you in the end